Hello, I am Nicole Thompson, principal of Carver Middle School. I grew up right here on Spartanburg South Side. I love Carver Middle School and I lead this place with my heart. I have a passion for the people here, I have a passion for the students here, and I have a passion for the community. I owe what I do to my community. My goal is to ensure that all students at Carver Middle School have what it takes to be lifelong learners. AVID is a college and career awareness system of practices that we employ throughout our school. There are 6,000 schools in our nation that employ the AVID strategies. Carver Middle School is in the top 2% as being an AVID national demonstration site, and we're proud of that fact. Our building was built in 2000, and we are well equipped for modern day learning. We have a dance studio, we have chorus classes, orchestra, band, we have a STEM program through Project Lead the Way and Gateway to Technology, and last but not least, we have an AVID elective class. Our Carver Wildcats compete not only in the classroom, but also on the playing fields. We have a brand new turf with a nice track to go along with it. We compete in volleyball, wrestling, basketball, football, and a host of other athletics. We are well equipped to grow our students for the future that they will embark on. Hi, I'm Talena Manasso and I am an assistant principal here at Carver Middle School. Hi, I'm Chloe Manasso and I'm a student here at Carver Middle School. I am actually her mother. When you walk into this building, you're walking into a warm, rich environment where our teachers are dedicated to academics, but they're also dedicated to building relationships because students are successful when they feel comfortable being able to ask questions. And as middle schoolers are developing, they need academics, but they also need that emotional and social support to help them thrive through these years. I'm Jill Brock and I am the instructional coach at Carver. In every hallway and in all the classrooms, the students are encountered with a college and career going culture. The students see college pennants, they see banners, they see career options, they actually even see their graduation date on their hallway. We want to engulf the students with what their future would be. My name is Brittany Yunt and I'm an 8th grade pre-algebra teacher at Carver Middle School. When you come to Carver Middle School, you will know that your teachers have expectations and they're high and they may be difficult, but your teachers are going to help you get there. You know that you're going to have help along the way and that your teachers are going to be behind you, pushing you to be the best that you can be so that when you graduate and become an adult or even just go to high school, you're prepared for that next step and you know how to work towards things for yourself. My name is Andrew Youngblood, and I'm a nationally board certified teacher here at Carver Middle School. I teach Project Lead the Way, Gateway to Technology, and Robotics Education. Carver is a Project Lead the Way school. Over the last couple of years, our VEX robotics team has been fortunate enough to win a couple of awards. One of the awards allowed us to compete at the state level two years ago. Throughout your time here at Carver Middle School, you have many opportunities to take these STEM robotic related classes. In the robotics, you'll get to work with FEX robotic systems, in which you learn how to program and solve problems. With our design and modeling class, you get to work with 3D CAD and work with our 3D printer, creating different objects. Also in our computer science and our robotic classes, you get to work with our humanoid robot now. At Carver, as a parent, you will find lots of opportunities for your students to experience, including the PALS Club. The PALS Club is a girls' mentorship club, as well as Kings, which is a club for our young men as they develop and have opportunities to not only make relationships with the community and learn philanthropy, but it also allows them the opportunity to network and the importance of that as they develop in the community and as a young man. 
One of the things that I love about being at Carver is when I leave my house, my husband, and I come here, I'm just going to an extension of my family. And I think when the students come on the hallway, they realize, wow, these teachers really love each other, they care about each other, it's a happy environment. And so naturally, they want to fit into that mold with us. And so when they come in our classrooms, they feel like they can have fun, they can actually relax and be themselves, but still know that they're gonna learn but learn from people who love them because it's a family. At Carver, we wanna have a collective impact in all that we do. In order to do that, we are intentional in analyzing our data. My role as curriculum coordinator is to ensure that we look at all aspects of the whole child. In doing so, I meet with the teachers each week as a team, and the teachers actually go through and they look at the data to determine their next steps with the students. We are developing critical thinkers, collaborators, innovators, and problem solvers at Carver. Every morning I actually go on the intercom and I say the AVID pledge, the rest of the school repeats after me. The AVID pledge goes like, I am AVID, advancing and growing each day via all learning experiences that come my way, individually responsible to achieve, determined to succeed. I am AVID. The AVID pledge is like just the Pledge of Allegiance, just an AVID in my opinion. And it gives you the idea of what the school is trying to achieve and what you need to achieve. Uh, the AVID pledge that we say every morning is also very important because that tries to get our day started and what we're saying and we're like, okay, I'm gonna do this today, like get our mindset on what we're gonna do today and we're gonna try our hardest and stuff. It helps you like understand how to, how to be successful in like, not just in your classes, but like outside of school. Uh, in AVID, we research colleges a lot so that we um, can determine what college we want to go to, if you really want to go there, if they have the right major that we want in that college. You know, some students don't learn about colleges and what we're gonna do later in life, but AVID helps us look further than that. In my degree, I want to do the bachelor's degree of finance. I actually kind of wanted to do a, or be a real estate agent if you believe you will achieve. I really believe in that message because if you believe that you will go to college, you will more than likely go to college. It doesn't matter your income, your race or ethnicity. It is your work ethic. And if you believe that you can do it and you plan to do it and you try, then you will achieve it. My teachers at the school, they want their kids to do everything they can to get what they want in life. My school, it's a place where the teachers always push you. They want you to get a higher standard, set a goal for yourself. My teachers make me feel comfortable. They, well, they help me on my confidence, my self-esteem, and to build up courage to speak up. And if I have a question, then they'll encourage me to ask it. The teachers make me feel about myself awesome. Let's say if I pass the test, they'd be like, oh, you did so great, I'm so proud of you and they say you never let me down and stuff. That's the best thing I can ever hear in a day. That'll make my day so good. And I'll go home and tell my mom, I'll be like, guess what my teacher said? My teachers make me feel appreciated and knowledgeable, and they help me learn if I don't know anything, I can just ask them anytime. In sixth grade, I could never stand in front of a camera or talk to anyone because I was, I was terrified of people. Now I am able to do this, and it really helped me. We are prepared for the future and we know that, uh, what to expect when we move on from Carver. Knowing that a lot of people have experienced Carver and moved on to be um, someone like a lawyer or a doctor has been very exciting for me and I can't wait to see what happens to me. Hi, my name is Justin Fox. I graduated from Carver in 2009. Since then, I graduated from Spartan High School 2013. I went on to Harvard where I was a football player and I majored in environmental science and public policy. Um, my goal was always to go to medical school, so I went and got a master's degree in biomedical sciences. And right now, I'm at uh, VCOM, Carolina's campus, and I'm a second year medical student. At Carver, I, I felt like all my talents were nurtured. Um, and they wanted me to be involved in as much as I possibly could, almost to the point where when it came time to me to, for me to decide what I wanted to do like for the rest of my life, it was hard because here I was allowed to be so much. A football player, a wrestler, um, I sung in the chorus, 
Uh, I was part of the, the daily news announcements that came on in the morning. We had a whole television set up. It was, it was fun. Carver Wildcats, I believe in you, and I believe that um, you can do it with the opportunities available to you even more than I was able to. And I hope that you enjoy Carver as, as much as I did and, and you use it um, to make all your wildest dreams come true. Go Wildcats. I'm Avery Jefferson. I am an Epitaph Tiger and I am so excited to become a Carver Wildcat.